Detroit police being hit with a new multi-million dollar lawsuit. This from the family of 27-year-old Kyazia Miller and their attorney Jeffrey Figer. They're claiming the department and the officers on scene were negligent. And they want $50 million. Police say the night Miller was shot and killed, she had several weapons, including a gun. But her family says that's not the case. So let's bring in our Grant Herms, who was at today's news conference. And Grant, this is another incident putting DPD and mental health responses in the spotlight. Yeah, Kimberly Devin, this is the second lawsuit right here in the second shooting of someone in a mental health crisis by DPD officers in just two months on the family and the attorney there of Kaija Miller say this isn't an attack on police, but they do want to get to the bottom of their daughter's story. The lawsuit telling a different story from the one police told on the night Kasia Miller was shot. Police say Miller was having a mental health crisis and had attacked her mother and son while wielding a bat, a knife and a gun. The family and their attorney, Jeffrey Feiger, say she wasn't armed when police tackled and shot her and estimated four times, saying she was holding her phone while on Facebook Live, not a gun, as police claim. The family suing for $50 million, alleging negligence by the department's crisis task force. And the idea that we have respond to mental health crises with guns is insanity, and it's not, it should not continue, and it should cost because nobody is paying attention to it unless we make them pay a whole lot of money. Miller is the second person in a mental health crisis to be shot by Detroit police in as many months. Feiger also representing the family in that case of Porter Burks. He says he still hasn't seen body camera video of that shooting despite a subpoena and says he's also waiting on video of Miller's killing. Does police wear body cams? If she was had a gun, we'll be all be able to see it. Let's see him. Turn it over right now. Show us the body cams of Chiesa with a gun. Now, Troy police did not answer my question this afternoon at a separate press conference about this lawsuit. I was told that we'd be getting a statement from them by 5 p.m. today, but so far, Kimberly, have not received that statement. Back to you. So, Grant, what about the officers involved in the shooting? What do we know about them so far? Well, Kimberly, all three of those officers were recommended by Chief James White to be suspended without pay. And then just recently, the city's board of police commissioners said the sergeant in that case, the administrative officer, will remain suspended but will be getting his pay. The other two officers, whose names we don't know right now, they want their cases to be heard in a much more public setting than their sergeants, whose name we also don't know. I should also mention there. Those other two officers, for those cases, those dates and times for those more public settings, have not been set just yet, but we will stay on top of this story. Well, Back yep, to you. We know you will. Okay, Grant, thank you.